New Mexico State Police are reporting 50-year-old David Lucio died Thursday after a wreck on US-60 east of Fort Sumner. Officials say Lucio was driving a 2005 Kia and that, for unknown reasons, crossed over the center line into oncoming traffic of the eastbound lane where it collided head-on into a 2015 Mack commercial motor vehicle. Lucio was ejected and sustained fatal injuries and was pronounced deceased on scene. Alcohol does not appear to be a contributing factor in the crash and seatbelts appear to not have been utilized properly. The Eastern New Mexico University Regents accepted a just-in-case $250,000 donation on a proposed new presidential residence by a 5-0 vote in a Friday morning special meeting after a seven-minute discussion. Eastern New Mexico University was also approved for a governmental liquor license during Tuesday's Portala City Council meeting. Lee McKinney, a Clovis native, had served as a buck sergeant in World War II before re-enlisting to join the Army Infantry in the Korean War effort. A World War II and Korean War veteran turned 93 this year. He was one of only four World War II veterans who went on this year's Texas Panhandle Honor Flight to Washington, D.C., and the only prisoner of war on the trip. He joined his unit on January 18, 1951. McKinney said U.S. forces had the upper hand pushing Chinese forces back until one night in April when the tide turned. McKinney stated they ran out of ammunition and did not hear the command to pull back. McKinney was stuck with U.S. artillery firing on their positions. He hid thinking he would catch up with his unit in the morning, but that was not the case. He had later been caught by opposing forces. McKinney was captured on April 23, 1951 and was a prisoner of war for 28 months. Lawmakers, including Democratic House Speaker Brian Egolf, accused elected state utility regulators at the Public Regulation Commission of overstepping their authority and provoking costly delays by vetting components of the Energy Transition Act. The law sets aggressive goals for renewable energy development and aims to ease the economic pains of closing the coal-fired San Juan Generation Station near Farmington. Utility regulators at the state's Public Regulation Commission are weighing whether the law trumps the agency's own ongoing evaluation of plans to close the San Juan Generation Station in 2022. Critics of the Energy Transition Act call it an excessive burden on electricity consumers and a boon to owners of Public Service Company of New Mexico, which operates the power plant, accusing the company of doing an end run around consumer financial protections overseen by the Public Regulations Commission. The legality of a New Mexico law limiting medical malpractices damages has been heard by the state Supreme Court. The argument was on whether the state legislature exceeded its constitutional authority by imposing a $600,000 cap on compensatory damages for lost wages, pain, and suffering. The Clovis Wildcat football team will host the winner of the El Dorado La Cueva game in the quarterfinal round of the 2019 state football playoffs on Friday. All tickets sold for the state playoff game, with the exception of box seats, will be general admission tickets. There will be no assigned seating or seat selection of preference, and the schools encourage visitors to arrive early. General admission tickets for the game will be available beginning Friday. When hosting championship playoff games, the New Mexico Activities Association establishes the protocol for game management, which means ticket sales are handled different than during normal season games. The NMAA sets the price for admission, provides the tickets, and establishes the procedure for their sale. The Roosevelt County Board of Commissioners will be holding a special business meeting tomorrow at the Roosevelt County Courthouse to discuss the 2019 local election canvas. The Curry County Board of Commissioners will be meeting tomorrow to discuss and take action for the 2019 Curry County regular local election canvas as well as budget adjustments. 